Now, while Stephen Holt grew up in Portland's backyard and left to attend St. Mary's, Thomas Vandermars traveled a long way from home to become a member of the Portland Pilots. But for the six foot 11 junior center, the journey was worth it. After leaving the Netherlands and spending a year playing in the Canary Islands, Vandermars has spent the last two seasons in Portland, becoming a leader on the court and an all WCC academic selection in the classroom. Here's Amanda Blackwell on how a leap of faith turned a Dutch boy into a Portland man. This is a story of perseverance. It's a story of risk and it's a story of success. This is the story of Thomas Vandermars. Growing up in the Netherlands, Vandermars didn't have a lot of opportunities to play organized basketball. So to further his goals, he took a leap of faith, leaving everything behind after high school to attend the Canarias Basketball Academy in the Canary Islands for eight and a half months. I'm more like the kind of guy that like stays at home. Uh, my brother is the more like risk taker in the family. So it was kind of a harder decision for me. I thought if I was ever to take this to the next level, this was the only opportunity uh, that would get me there. It was about six to seven hours a day on average. We went very hard in practice. So there were some times that you question why, why you're there. Early in the year, I had some coaches that were interested in me. So that kind of helped me because it, it confirmed that I was doing the right thing because I, I got some exposure and I got some positive comfort, like feedback from uh, U.S. coaches. One of those coaches was Portland head coach Eric Reveno, who thought that Vandermars was a no-brainer for his program and offered him a scholarship. You see the work ethic and you see, you see a really smart, nice, conscientious kid that wants to be good. So when you pride yourself on a program that helps the guys get better, you get excited about guys that want to get better, are willing to do the work. And then from a basketball perspective, you just looked at him and said, boy, he's not afraid of contact, he's got good hands, he runs well, he's fairly athletic, good size. And then you realize if he was up in Seattle or down in Portland, he'd be being recruited all over the place. It was a perfect fit for Vandermars, who has thrived at the University of Portland, both on the court and off particularly in the classroom. Thomas was like, school's not really the problem, school's okay. And I'm like, oh, all right, I've heard that before. You know, normally that's a warning sign that the guy's heading the wrong way, like he's in denial. But Thomas gets mostly A's. He just seems to know everything and he'll be mad if he got like a B plus or something on a grade and along with the basketball schedule and all the time we put in here. To be able to do that is very remarkable. Obviously, basketball is going to end up one, one day, and then what you have to fall back on is kind of like your degree and what you've learned throughout your years, uh, also in school. I have the fortune that, um, that I can be passionate about, about stuff in school, and that's, that sometimes was hard for my, you know, my fellow student athletes. It's finding something they're passionate about at age like 20, when there's so much you don't know about yourself. Because Vandermars had that experience in the Canary Islands after high school, he's a much older student than many of his teammates. As a junior, he's 23 years old, and his age, combined with the experiences he's had, has matured him and made him a great role model for many of his teammates. He's a good role model for my kids. He's a good role model for, like, youth of the world. He's a good role model, period. I hope I set uh, an example. Um, that's what I try to do in my in my daily life, in my personal life, um, and when I look at school and basketball and the way you conduct yourself, I hope I can send kind of an example for guys that come in. I was always kind of like a late bloomer, so I feel like I fit right in, uh, even though I'm a little older. He is the old man. I sort of make a joke that like my senior year as a freshman, we overlapped. When they talk about my age, they was like, ah, you're 26, no, you're 29, like you're 35, it's like you're old man now. Vandermars took risks and made difficult decisions to pursue his dreams. But the hard work he puts in on a daily basis has made it all worth it. Our goal for every player is to become the best they can be as a basketball player and to take full advantage of the educational opportunity. And I can't think of anyone who could take it a more advantage of it. It was hard leaving my parents and leaving everything behind. It's hard to think of it as a hard decision because, uh, you know, it, it led me to so many good things in life. For the WCC this week, I'm Amanda Blackwell. Another great story. Let's take a look at what's on tap today in the WCC. Pepperdine at Portland. That's the WCC game of the week. And Zaga taking on Little Marymount at home. And, of course, the big game, BYU traveling Northern California to play St. Mary's. And, Coach Thomas Vandermar, we are both big fans. Uh, and he's a big reason, no pun intended, on why this Portland team is one of the best surprises in the WCC. This guy just keeps getting better. 
Well, you got to credit the coaching staff. He is able to digest the principles. He's a junior. He has great experience. He's averaging 12 points, six rebounds. And I like it that he moves with the purpose. He's a long target. He's crafty in the post. He can score with either hand. And he loves the ball fake. And those are all things that you're taught right there. It's a show and it's a go. He's taken on the responsibility of being that guy in the lane. Nicholas can step out. But Thomas likes to do all the dirty work, both offensively and defensively. Each year he's been there, he's been able to work on his body. And then in the offseason, he works on his game. And he's definitely seeing the benefits of all that summer work.